It's been a frustrating month for the staff at RU Game in Tampa. They reached out to ABC Action News asking us to help find the man that they say robbed them twice in the span of just 16 days. Yeah, this story is mm -hmm. quite concerning. ABC Action News reporter Jada Williams listened to their concerns that the robber could strike again. This month and I was trying to see if I can... Inside RU Game, there's no shortage of video games and systems old and new. Uh, yeah, you can not so I can test out other plugs and Okay and no shortage of staff ready to help. But on September 4th, in broad daylight, employee Brandon Blue Eyes found himself in a scary situation. Hey, Sean, I think I just got robbed by a guy with a gun. Ring video from inside the store shows a masked man walking in, Brandon initially helping him shop around. Do you want to get the PlayStation? Which one? As I was grabbing it and I was bagging up and ringing him up, he said, put it on the counter when I turn around. And when he indicated to put it on the counter, he reached into his pocket and pulled out like a handle type weapon. So I, I, I'm pretty sure it was a gun, but I didn't want to risk it. So I just handed him the console and then he just walked out. Then again, on September 20th, Brandon found himself in the same position. I told him that he wasn't allowed to be in here with the mask. And so he, um, he shouted that he didn't, he didn't give explicitives. He was jumping around and he was more aggressive. And I was around the counter at the time he was over there. So. I uh, just took off and went to another store, uh, five guys over there to call the police. That time, the thief took off with a PlayStation 5, valued at nearly $450. The cameras inside the store were down that day, the owner, Shane Butcher, tells me. We're 100% sure we know who it was. And since they have been booked before, if they would have been on it the first time, they would probably be already be in, uh, in jail by now. I reached out to Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. They tell me they're actively investigating the theft and working to identify the suspect while increasing patrol around the shopping plaza. It, it's super frustrating, especially because the first time they got a clear fingerprint. Now the staff is preparing just in case the robber strikes a third time. I'm not a violent person, um, but um, now yesterday I went to the gun range and shot my first gun. In Tampa, Jada Williams, ABC Action News.